my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. What I like to do is talk about anything and everything classic rock. And if you like classic rock, let's go ahead. Let's get on into it. I've got a bunch of classic rock news. So of course we all know who Mick Jagger is. He's the lead singer of the Rolling Stones. He's 75 years old. Well, actually now today he's 76 years old. Happy birthday to Mr. Mick Jagger. And let's face it, Mick Jagger dances better at 76 than he did at 66 and at 56 and at 46. I mean, the guy just keeps getting better and better and better. He just had open heart surgery a few months ago. You would never know it by looking at him and how he performs on that stage. He puts everybody to shame. He really, really does. I mean, God bless all the guys, but Mick is pretty phenomenal, right? So not only is he on the No Filter Tour with the Rolling Stones, and he literally also filmed a movie which wrapped up in September of last year in Italy. It's going to premiere in just a couple of months in Italy in September. So one year from the date it wrapped up, it's premiering. How cool is that? And it is called The Burnt Orange Heresy. Kind of a tough name to remember. It's about love and it's about a bank heist. How much better can you get than love mixed with a bank heist? So again, September is the premiere of that movie. Mick Jagger is in it. It's a beautiful thing. What does this guy not do? Again, congratulations and happy birthday to Mr. Mick Jagger. Mm, mm -mm. Oh, so, sorry. Why do I have this ginormous loaf of bread in front of me? It's actually a freshly baked loaf of Sicilian bread, otherwise known as Italian bread, which I used to absolutely love and it was amazing when I would get it from the bakery, I would walk there by myself and not be worried about being kidnapped or anything, and I would get a loaf of Italian bread from my mom on a Sunday and it would be fresh out of the oven. I would run home, I would slap some butter on it. We're not talking just a pat of butter, we're talking like half a stick of butter and I'd probably eat half of the loaf of bread and just eat it up and then I would lift the splatter screen on the pot. What did she call it? Scola base or whatever. That, that was her name for a pot. And I would dip my bread into her gravy and then she would go, stop it, get out of there. And I would still, when she wasn't looking, dip my bread into the gravy. And it was so good and I loved bread so, so much, but my butt started liking bread a lot more than I did. So I just had to put it aside and I had to stop eating it. So I'm gonna lay this bread, this honorary loaf of Italian bread on the honorary Steve Perry stool. So it's not a person sitting on the Steve Perry stool, it's a loaf of bread. So Steve, when you come here, just bread. Bread was on the stool and I think I've had other things like candy cigarettes and things like that, but no people have sat on the stool. So why am I talking about bread? What does that have to do with classic rock? It has a ton to do with classic rock because Alice Cooper is releasing a six track EP sometime in 2020. We don't know where, we don't know why, we don't know how, we don't know when. I said when, but it's in 2020. So he's releasing that six track set and the name of it is called Breadcrumbs. How he got the name Breadcrumbs for his new release, I don't know. But listen, Alice Cooper, 71 years old, married to his wife Cheryl for over 43 years. He's traveling with Hailstorm right now. He's done a ton of stuff with the Hollywood Vampires and he goes out on the road with them all the time. They released a new album, Rise, just a few months back. He loves to play golf. Kind of sounds like I'm introducing him on a dating game or something. But I'm not. Just going to show you that Alice Cooper is quite active and loving life and still performing and giving fans what they want, like Mick Jagger, and having a great time doing what he loves to do. So on the Breadcrumbs release, Mark Farner from Grand Funk Railroad is also appearing on there. How cool is that? I got to see Grand Funk with Bruce Kulick just a few months back. Oh my gosh, they are so, so good. So this is going to be a treat for Alice Cooper fans, and if you like bread, go and get Alice Cooper's breadcrumbs, because you're going to get more than breadcrumbs. You get, you're getting like the meat of the bread in Alice Cooper's EP. You, you really are.
Queen! Queen, another group, oh my gosh, they just, how much better can Queen get? Really, I, it, this isn't even a resurgence for them. This is just a boom pow chicka wow wow. They are breaking all kinds of records and another record that they just broke, it's kind of crazy. Over one billion times Bohemian Rhapsody has been viewed on YouTube. Now this is the only video before 1990 to have broken this record and had this many views, over a billion views. And it keeps rising and rising and rising. I mean, that, that is just gonna, it's, it's gonna hit the stratosphere, right? It's probably not even gonna hit a ceiling. It, it's got so many views. So they actually just showed Bohemian Rhapsody, the video in Times Square last weekend. And it's just amazing what Brian May and Roger Taylor have been able to keep on the table after all of these years. And Adam Lambert, what an amazing job he has done for that band. And, and being able to front them and Brian and Roger always say how proud that Freddie would have been of Adam. And I'm sure he is. He's looking down going, man, he is just, he's making me proud. And how cool Queen is, they also have a new campaign currently running. It's not called We Are The Champions, it's called You Are The Champions. So you can visit youarethechampions.com. There's a couple of videos, they have a couple of songs on there. They would like you, the fans, to videotape your take on those two songs. You can do them both. I don't know if there's more than two now, that's what I read. And you submit them, you submit your videos to whatever link they give you, and there's a possibility you could be in a future Queen video. So again, Brian May and Roger Taylor just doing a great job giving it back to the fans. Youarethechampions.com, go and check it out, make your submission, and maybe you can be in a Queen video. So, a few months back, Motley Crue released their biopic, The Dirt, on Netflix. And you gotta think back and say, wow, they released their book, The Dirt, in 2001. It's a long time ago. Well, they just released a little tiny clip from the audio version of The Dirt. The book was released in 2001. This is the first time an audio book has been put out from the original book. If you want to hear some softcore porn, because that's basically what the movie was, you can check out the audio version of The Dirt. If you haven't seen the movie, you can now grab it on book and please don't listen to it at work because if anyone hears it, you're going to be in trouble. Now the movie, The Dirt, it was what it was, but it did a lot of great things for the guys. The soundtrack of the movie actually shot up to number one. Streaming sales for the band went through the roof and they got a whole new genre of listeners and viewers and fans. So again, The Dirt did really great things for Motley Crue. And again, you can go check out that audio book from them. A few days ago, Steve Perry put out on Twitter that he was going to do a Q&A and I only saw three questions be answered. I could be completely wrong. I was kind of hoping there would be more. I was also kind of hoping maybe he would have done a Facebook Live or a YouTube Live or some, something live. Some, something with Steve talking for real and, and being there and just maybe taking the questions through stream or something, but that is not what happened. One Twitterer, Summerchild1810, I thought this was great. Now she did ask, so Sunshine's Gray, that's the fourth release from Steve's Traces album. She wanted to know why the music of the song, very upbeat, well not very upbeat, but mid-tempo upbeat, doesn't match the lyrics of the song because they're kind of sad. Again, great question didn't get answered. She also said that we would like to hear a rock song from you, Steve. Totally agreed. Oh my gosh, what have I been saying? What has everybody been saying? And one of my wonderful viewers here, Richard, he also made a great point, and I've said this before as well. You know, even if Steve produced a Journey album, fans would like it. I want to see him out there, and I think most of us do too. I totally get what Richard is saying, and he also said, what about Greg Raleigh, 
Robert Fleischman. Maybe doing a journey through time. I totally, totally agree. Throw Steve Jerry out there too. I actually talked to Jonathan Cain last year and I asked him about that. I asked him about Robert Fleischman, Greg Raleigh, and of course Steve Perry. And he said, yeah, that's, that's probably not going to happen. We know the guys in Journey want a reunion to happen. The following is a non-paid production by Kiki and the Classic Rock Players. Steve Perry being played by Kiki and the entire band of Journey being played by Kick and Al. Again, this is a non-paid, no-budget production. Guys, I really want you to take this gift. We're not going to take your gift. Guys, I really need you to take my gift. After all these years, you never wanted to talk to us. But guys, after all these years, I'm ready. We're still hoping, we're still waiting, we're still believing, we're not stopping believing. Now, Jonathan Cain actually just did a little video. He was with his wife at dinner. They're kind of the cutest couple on the planet. Well, they, they really are. They're, they're a really cute couple. She asked him about where did Don't Stop Believing come from. And Jonathan talked about how he was down in the dumps. He was not getting where he wanted to be in the music business. So he asked his dad, should I just give up and come home to Chicago? And his dad said, no, you are going to keep doing your music because you're good. And you're going to make this dream come true because you are not. You're do you don't, don't you, don't, don't stop believing. And hence, that is where Jonathan Cain got the inspiration for that song. So I will say, all of us will not stop believing either. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out, stopping by, and taking a listen or a watch, whatever. I truly, truly appreciate it. Have a great day, a great night, a great weekend, a great everything. And as always, remember, most importantly, to keep rocking and have some bread.